Welcome back to Rim of the Dead. Uh, we've gone through most of a day with nothing of interest happening, and nothing of particular interest is happening yet either. But I'm going to send Ricky out on a run, so I figure I'd turn on the recording. Um, yeah, I, I had him finish this wall because they could actually see the zombies through the corner pieces here, and it was aggravating them. So I figured we'd better finish up the wall entirely, otherwise they're going to keep smashing this door. Which has been taking a lot of hits since that happened. Um, I don't remember if I flagged up removing a bunch of the wood from inside the walls on the recording yesterday, but that's what I, they've been doing today, is just pulling up wooden, wooden and, yeah, wooden floors so far, but they're also going to pull up this carpet. Um, and that's why they aggravated the zombies over here and the horde started smashing this door down. I've already repaired it twice today, and it's back down to 83% again already. Um, we might want to try and send out Jilt to shoot some zombies, but there's actually not that many of them within her range right here. Like, there's 10 or so. And the problem is they're all clustered over here, uh, particularly in this little gap where they wander in and they don't wander back out for whatever reason because there's just one tile where they can just get trapped, kind of. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to ignore the problem for the time being. Hopefully they disperse or something comes in and drags them away, like a raid or something. We don't need to actually try and clear out this section here because we don't have any really good spots to do so on. Um, in other news, the rec room is given a bonus to somebody. Someone impressive the rec room, four points. So that's nice. Um, the statue is, is counting for something there. And I have to send Ricky part of the way around. He was up here, so if I sent him into this room, he actually opted to run outside and run down and around, which would be a death trap. Uh, I checked the northern wall section here, and there's like 20 zombies running around up here, so that seemed like it was a bad call. I'm actually not sure he can escape down here, but we're going to see. Uh, no, don't kill him in the doorway. Fall back, let him inside, kill him there. This may not work. Oh, we killed the one in the doorway. Well, that's shit. All right, fall back. Don't let them... Actually, yeah, don't... Shit. Go there. Minimize the amount they're attacking you. But do kill them, though. Why is this one taking forever? Critical hit, critical hit, doesn't fucking die. It looks like they have some sort of armor on. But, I mean, this one over here had fucking prestige marine armor, and it didn't die. Okay, we've pulled a pile of them in. Um, I need that door to close. Okay, let's fall back. Okay, the door's closed now. So let's just slay. Okay, let's do this door. Hold open. Ricky, fall back another tile. That way you're only fighting one at a time. If they'll fucking come in, that is. Is this one dead? I guess we might have killed that one at the last second. Okay, well clearly, yeah, that one's dead. Clearly there's a, a horde out here, enough to rage them, so uh, we're not going to go outside today. Where are you going? You are going to clean blood on this door tile. This always makes me so fucking nervous. Okay, it's fine. Um, do not hold open. So yeah, so much for the scavenging run. If we want to do a scavenging run, we're going to have to actually clear a path out somewhere, it seems like. Maybe to the south will be okay? Jesus, fuck Billy. Oh my god. Every time they go near the door, I panic. I just really don't trust them. But I need those doors to get repaired, so I can't just remove them from the home zones. Yeah, there's a fucking thousand of them here, too. Shit. So we're completely surrounded at this point. Unless we can make it out up here. But, like, every spot. Okay, Ricky, just take care of your shit. Yeah, eat in the rain, I guess. Fuck it. How are the batteries holding out? The batteries are fine. Uh, Billy Cleaning, why don't you go take a look out north and we'll see if we can escape out there tomorrow for a run. I just kind of want to scout more. No. Nope, we ain't going out this way either. Huh. So I think 
My plan is going to be we'll put Jilt with the Magnum on the south wall here and start to clear out whatever we can to see if we can clear out a path out there maybe. Oh, I really hate you cleaning these doors. It's such a waste of labor too. Um... Okay, everything's mostly clean. So we're gonna put you on a two, and we're gonna up smelting and stone cutting to two for everybody. Uh, that door's already at 66%. Go repair this door before you turn in. Maybe I want repair on a two as well for everybody. Actually, what if I just, ah, fuck. No, really don't. I want cleaning on like a 2 point, no, I want repair on like a 2.5. No, yeah, and cleaning on the same tier. Hmm. So if we drop cleaning to a three, then we have to drop a bunch of shit down to fours, which we could do actually. But then they fall through to like doctoring in theory. Yeah, you know what? We can actually do that. We'll drop these to four. And we'll drop this to a three. Then they'll do this, and then they'll fall through to repair, and then they'll fall through to that. Okay, there is our turrets. Um, I'm thinking maybe mortars. Uh, actually, what else do we need? I was making sure we were paused. Um... We should think this through, because this is... It, mortars will take a while. Watch telescope. Oh, that's a fog of war thing. Hmm. Increases vision when calling the stand on it. Interesting. Um, we got enough medicine that I'm not too concerned about that immediately. Geothermal power won't do anything for us. We could just go for microelectronics. Gets us the comms console. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Then we can go to multi-analyzer. Mmm, the advanced ammunition, too. Holy fuck, look at all this ammo types. Jesus Christ. Well, we'll need microelectronics before we can get to that. And if we want pulse charged, which is the charge ammo, we'll need to fab. Maybe we should run down microelectronics. So far, any of the sieges... I've never actually gotten to the point where mortaring them would have made that much of a difference. Comet extended artillery debug. Weird. Hmm. Mortars is 2,000. Microelectronics is 3,000. Microelectronics gets us a comms console. Any EMP grenades? What? Oh, we had EMP grenades. And we get the high-tech research bench, actually, too, which is a big deal. Let's do microelectronics. Uh, the other option would be hygiene, actually. We could do composting real quick. That's an 800. Although we're doing fine on food. And it, the rate at which the colony grows is very slowly, so food is not likely to become an issue so soon. So I think, I'm still thinking microelectronics. Recreation seems fine. It's usually easier, easier to scavenge. Um, some of the ooh, tools would be good. Work attire would be good. 
but it's also things that we can scavenge from raids if we get lucky. At least, like, the tools. I'm surprised we haven't seen any hammers and shit yet. It might have been one of these mods kind of changed the tendency for them to show up with hammers. Uh, let's do microelectronics. Right? That's what I said we're doing. Right? 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 Uh, yeah, microelectronics. Okay. And we'll have to keep an eye on toxic rain, too. Um, obviously, everybody's turning in for the day, so we'll pause and I'll be back later. Well, the game has seen fit to give me the mechanoid warning, which I can only s assume is uh, preceding an impending mechanoid raid. So, we need EMPs, we need Molotovs, and we need more EMPs. Well, armor piercing, but like... Yeah. You have your mollies equipped. That's nice. Uh, what is your what is the armor piercing on this? I mean, I would assume it would, should have decent armor pierce, but maybe it doesn't. What do I know? Fourteen. Should have read the message. Twenty. So even the charged sniper with its base rounds is not any good. So we're going to be reliant entirely upon grenades and then the shotgun stuff. Who has the shotgun? Jilt. Well, why don't you grab a bunch of EMP shells? All right. So, if we have an impending mech raid situation, um, I wonder if the zombies will fight them. And I wonder if the zombies can do literally anything to them at all. Um, who's our crafter? Ramiro is the best. I want to get him turning those grenades into belts. Why are you... S oh, you're not slow. You just seem like you're slow. Weird. I guess we better let him get wrecking stuff in, though. Otherwise, they'll be in a bad mood when we do get raided. If, if it's impending. It might just be a, at some point the game combat accident gives you that warning. Without it necessarily meaning anything's happening, but... Oh, he's already going to it. Good job. Okay, so, uh, EMP grenades. We want to give these to... Apparently the armor penetration is rubbish. Usable with shields? No. What? Are we talking like a handheld shield, not a shield belt? Could be. Frag grenades ain't gonna do shit. Uh, RPD AP. They are AP ammo though. melee armor pen I mean I assume we need it's the ammo that should tell us the armor penetration oh there 12 blunt 41 MPA okay the charge pistol I assume ain't gonna do shit average stopping power Oh, that's the wrong thing. Uh, fast shot, advanced SMG, charge shot. Okay. So then Jilt, we know, already has EMPs. I'm trying to decide who gets the belts. It's like uranium batons. 
Melee armor penetration factor. Zero. 3.0 on blunt. Okay. Um. But Ash already has Molotovs, which apparently are effective in this situation. I suppose we'll give Billy a belt. These are AP as well. Although I don't expect even armor-piercing SMG rounds to be that effective against the fucking centipede if we get stuck fighting one of those. So, Billy... I guess maybe Billy and Silver get the belts. Yeah, that seems fine. All right. Just chuck that right on the floor for me. Silver, repairing steel door. That needs to be repaired. Which door is that, and where are you? Uh, this door. Okay, in that case, it'll be fine. We'll let you do this path. Deteriorated away. Good. It's tainted shit. Get rid of it. Uh, if we have mechs coming, let's take a look at our turrets, finally. So we have military turrets, mini turrets, searchlights, flame turrets. Um, well, if mechs are vulnerable to Molotovs, maybe they're vulnerable to flame turrets. Oh shit, do we actually have to have the ammo for it too? I imagine we do. 556 NATO. Same deal. 556.45 NATO. I didn't really consider that. Okay, we do have rounds. What do you take? 14 steel, and that's it. Like four sets of these things. Then we'll do. I mean, oops. These should be better. Uh, steel, 300. Components, 52. We have a ton of components. So. How do we want to do this? Yeah, you can see these zombies are angry seeing the corner pieces here. Kind of leaning on like maybe three approaches initially. One down here. One to the top middle, and then I guess we can put one over here. We don't have a good line of fire on this section necessarily, so it's not really going to do much. Uh, the big downside is the embrasures here are very narrow, and the turret is taking up potentially valuable spots for our people if we do that. Maybe we just do two turrets for the time being, rather than overcommit to them. Actually, we don't have the steel for more than two anyway. So yeah. Um, and is there any more steel inside the walls that we can reclaim? There actually really isn't. That's unfortunate. We're smelting down weapons, including Ricky's machete there. Um, why are you carrying in a cloth duster? Where did you get that? Weird. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. 
Well, if we get a chance to go out and get more steel, then we'll be fine. And then I want to plug these corner pieces so the zombies don't get angry at me. Uh, what are you up to? Yeah, that's right. Making turret. That makes sense. Hey, Billy's uh, healed up a uh, scar. That's always good. Did you fighting with somebody? Hmm, Jilt hates you? Interesting. I don't suppose it comes with a full load of ammo by chance, does it? Nope. All right. Uh, we'll turn them on manually whenever there's something of interest to uh, deal with. I might want Jilt. Oh, we, she did find some ammo. Oh, maybe, oh, that's been, it's all been made already. Oh no, one set has been made. That's, that's good. Just kidding. All right, cool. Next. Oh, look at the firing range on that bastard. Wow. I mean, assuming it can't see half that shit, but... Also, we should do another health check. Uh, I think the recon armor f uh, helps with toxic buildup, which is why it hasn't been much of an issue for our colony uh, in general or recently, one or the other. I'm actually not sure if we were having problems with it before. I think we, I think we restricted a couple guys at some point. Um... But yeah, it's mostly not been an issue. Ash is vulnerable, I believe, because he has, yeah, just composite vests and hyperweave and shit. He doesn't have any other stuff. Um, I assume we don't have enough steel for the north one, I'm going to guess. It's probably not because of all the ammo we made. 118. 170. Oops, I thought it was paused. I could have sworn I was paused when this zombie attack came. Um, well, that's right there. So that kind of puts the kibosh on clearing this out, because they're going to they're gonna come in if I'm shooting at shit. Fuck, that's actually really bad timing for us, because now we don't really have any chance to go outside the base for supplies. What can we do? We can start tearing out this wall to reclaim steel. Actually, not bad. We've got bricks. Let's do that. Let's start deconstructing this and we'll replace it with stone oh Jesus why'd you come all the way out here deliver a little bit of blocks and then eat your fucking meal here If you're going to go home, haul a bunch of wood back with you. Whoa. Okay, that was that was weird. It just blinked for a fucking second. I'm assuming a roof collapsed somewhere. Uh, probably a suicide bomber with the horde that just wandered in. Oh, yeah, we got the bug where it just happened right before I paused. Last time this happened, reloading fixed it. So I'm going to reload. Uh, I'll be back in a second. And that seems to have fixed it, so that's good. Um, clearly we have wooden floors under here that we can reclaim. This is all depleted soil. None of this is rubble that I've seen anywhere, so we should be able to reclaim all the floors underneath here as well, which will get us a little bit more wood back. Makes removing those sections. Uh... Oh, fuck, it happened again. It's going to happen every time they do something. Every time a fucking thing collapses, we're going to have to fucking reload the game. Well, that's obnoxious. It's probably a fog of war thing. That, that sucks. I don't know why we didn't... You would think it would happen a lot more if it was every time a roof collapsed. Because we've had... Uh, surely we've had roof collapses before. 
Like there's a bunch of burned, half burned down buildings on this map. But maybe not. Maybe enough of the walls are left that the roofs stay up. Oh god, something happening. This feels like something's happening. Oh. That's what's happening. Yeah, the game doesn't even run when this happens. Um, I should probably do another backup save. Actually, I only have the one save for this series going because I have it's season fucking four. Um, fuck, and I overwrote the original save with one of the ones that's bugged. This might be a problem. It'd be a shitty way for season four to end. The map just keeps blinking out of existence. I mean, there's still other things that could be done. Oh, this looks, this looks bad. Not responding. Okay. 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 They're actually moving around a bit. Um, looks to me like this entire building here is gone. And I think I, I'm fairly certain there was a building there before. So my guess would be is every time a suicide bomber detonates and takes out a significant chunk of building, we're getting that bug. That would be my guess. I have nothing to base it on other than, uh, let's call it a mildly educated guess. Just based upon when I see this bug occur. See, yeah, now we're doing all right. It's not like it's instantly resetting back to being awful. So, uh, yes, let's not do that. Roofs first, please. It's not as simple as a roof collapse because it would have happened there. So it actually is something more than that. It might be something to do with like the sudden instantaneous removal of multiple sections by an exploding zombie causes that bug. That would that would kind of make sense. I could see that being the issue. So anything else we can remove for floors? Uh, one tile of, sorry, flagstone. Cancel it. Literally not worth anything. And then blocks. So what do we got a bunch of that is pretty shit? Slate. I actually don't have as many blocks as I was thinking for some reason. Uh, we don't need that corner piece, actually. As strange as that feels, not putting this in. So we'll, we'll do that. Uh, we'll leave that out. We can do that later. Yeah, there's still a bunch of shit fucking exploding. We'll get Jill to haul some this wood back. Make sure she does that. Okay. Everything's going good. More steel. Nothing under the wall. Do we put that wall in ourselves? You know, we did put part of that in ourselves, didn't we? I don't think we have enough slate for all of this, but we'll go for it anyway. Oh, a royal tribute collector. Well, oh Jesus. Why did... Why did that happen again? I was like, paused. Uh, I'm kind of... Okay, to be fair, they came in in the same awful area. Ugh, God damn it. Well... This episode's about done anyway. Maybe we'll try to see what the Tribute Collector does here in the next few seconds. They came in right where the Horde spawned, so I don't have much hope for them. And this will probably tip us over to being hostile with the fucking Empire, too, when a bunch of them inevitably die on the goddamn map. I wonder if that happened from zooming all the way out for some reason.
Okay, they're fighting shit. Game is paused. It zooms all the way out. Unpause? Doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, it was like a something else. Okay, I we just got another lag spike. Is the map going to disappear? Place your bets. Yep. Okay, so there's a lag spike associated with it. So something is happening. Maybe the map is unhappy with the amount of zombies on it. Yeah, and the game doesn't run when this happens. We have no choice but to reload. Oh boy, what fun. Uh, we'll leave this one here in this mess. Um, I'll reboot the game entirely for the next episode rather than just going straight into it. And we'll see if that makes any sort of difference. Uh, until next time.